Hello friends, a very good morning to you. Today, I am here with yet another topic and the topic of today's video is technologies, future of humanity and future of our education system. For last 200 years or so, our education system has given prime importance to technology and knowledge acquisition. Certainly, we have made great advancement in technology and machines have become part of our lives. Machines have integrated with us in such a way that we cannot think of living without them. We have endless list of gadgets such as laptops, desktops, smartphones, refrigerators, microwaves, air conditioners, heaters, cars and many other forms of transport system such as railways, bullet trains, jet trains, rockets and so on which keep us in the comfort zone. With the advancement in computing through artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, big data, blockchain etc. Human brain is becoming passive and it is slowly losing its importance as chips, microchips, pills or even injections are inserted in the human body to create faster access to the information readily available for its consumption. Under the given situation, it becomes very important for us to contemplate and plan our future. As purely knowledge based education system is not going to work well, especially when tools such as supercomputers, AI, big data, etc. are getting increasingly and easily available to common masses. So in part one, I will focus on understanding the importance of robotics, bots and artificial intelligence and we will understand the effect of these disruptions and how and where we humans stand in front of the disruption that is taking place and at the end I will discuss about thoughts of Jack Ma the founder of Alibaba on human values and we will learn about the basics of human values from ancient Vedic times. So before I go to video, I would like to request you to please do subscribe to our channel, do send your feedback and if you like the video, do share it. Press the bell button to get latest updates and be with us. Thanks for watching. Moving on to robots, last year in Dubai, during the International Leadership Summit, I met Sophia, the humanoid robot who talks like humans and works as a companion and she even senses human emotions and cracks jokes. I was surprised. Interestingly, the Saudi government has given her the Saudi citizenship too. Similarly, way back in 2012, when I was in Copenhagen, Denmark, I enjoyed the ride of metro train, which was driverless. Later, in many countries, attempts have been made to deploy driverless trains, buses or even aeroplanes. This concept is based on the fact that humans make more errors than machines. Surprisingly, this assumption has proved true and machines have caused fewer accidents than humans by driving trains, buses or aeroplanes. However, the more we deploy robots, the more destruction and disruption we bring to our existing work system. While the forms and pace of work will certainly change drastically, the robots and AI empowered machines will replace most of the manual and knowledge based works carried out by humans, leading to a large scale unemployment and thus a multiplier effect. For example, if all drivers are replaced by AI empowered machines and robots, millions of drivers will be unemployed. Similarly, thousands of midway restaurants and motels will shut down. 
creating yet another series of unemployed. There also exists a possibility that either humans will become extinct or they will be forced to leave this planet on account of their own deeds. With mind-blogging developments in robotics, nanotechnology and biotechnology, Professor Michio Kaku, a physicist and the futurist and the author of the book, The Future of Humanity, hopes that humans will build habitable cities on Mars and nearby stars using microscopic spaceships sailing through space on laser beams. There is near possibility that because of the climate change, depletion and catastrophe, the human will be forced to move out of the earth and locate a better habitat. So my friends, we must understand that humans have ignored the basics of maintaining harmony with Mother Earth and the nature. Rather, we have developed weapons and tools for causing high pollution and mass destruction. This means we have taken control of all possible resources of Mother Earth and have given back very little. Also, we are again shifting towards a new regime when machines and AI are replacing the humans. This means the knowledge based system that we have used for last many centuries will break soon as machines and AI tools will do all such knowledge based activities that we humans have been doing. Accordingly, we must focus on developing an education system that should focus on human values such as love, affection, passion, compassion, moral values, teamwork, ethics, faith, justice, cross-cultural knowledge, sense of respect, giving back to society, etc. Nelson Mandela, one of the greatest leaders of modern times, says, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. So on those lines, let's come back to yet interesting statements and thoughts of one of the most leading industrialist, philanthropist and futurist of current time and the name is Jack Ma. Jack Ma says, we cannot teach our kids to compete with machines. Jack Ma during his interaction with media at World Economic Forum last year emphasized on the need to transform our knowledge-based education system to value-based education system so that humans differentiate themselves from machines. That means soft skills such as believing, independent thinking, teamwork and care for others, sports, music, paintings, arts are the human markers and our education system must focus on developing skills in these sectors to beat the machines. That means we are left with no other option except one, going back to the basics and that is human value. Value, believing, independent thinking, teamwork, care for others, these are the soft part. The knowledge may not teach you that. Mm. Folks, that's why I think we should teach our kids <coughs> on sports, entertain, uh, uh, the, the music, the painting, art. To so making sure humans should be different from everything we teach should be different from machine. In the ancient times, since its origin, the Vedic system of India has always given prime importance to maintenance of cosmic balance in the universe and adherence to human values. This means it is our duty to maintain harmony in the system where we live in. For example, Mother Earth gives us in abundance all such things such as air, water, food and shelter that help us to lead a comfortable life. In return, we should also give back. We should plant more trees, cause no dis destruction to ecosystem, cause no pollution and maintain peace and harmony and complete balance in the system. This will help us maintaining the order in the system and prosperity and happiness for the humanity in times to come. So my friends, I again like to thank you for watching this video and if you have any comments, feedback, do write to us or use the comment box to share your thoughts and do subscribe to the channel. Hope to come back again with more videos. Till then, goodbye, namaskar and adios.